I didn't move. It looks so weird on the thing. So right here is good? Yep. Okay, I'm trusting you. Hi guys, I am so sorry for interrupting the video that you were just watching, but we hit 10,000 subscribers. I cannot even tell you how excited I am, how thankful I am for you guys. You really are the sweetest people in the world and I'm so glad to be able to call you my friends. So to say thank you, I wanna mention that I'm gonna be doing my very first ever live stream on YouTube this Sunday, March 17th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really hope you'll be there because I just want to hang out with you guys, answer your questions, and I'm really excited about it. I want to just celebrate the fact that we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Just, ah, I'm so excited. Thank you again. Okay, back to the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video and I really hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some easy ways that you can make some extra money. If you haven't seen one of my most recent videos where I tell you guys how I make $20 an hour working from home, I basically talk about how I work with QKids, an online teaching company, but I got a lot of comments from people asking me to make a video about easy ways that you can make some extra money without having a university degree or maybe if you're a little bit younger. So that's where the inspiration for this video came from. And without further ado, let's just jump on into the ways that you can make a little bit more money. By the way, if my voice sounds a little bit different, there is something going on in my chest right now. It's like a bad chest cold. I don't actually feel sick, but my chest is just like really heavy and my voice is like so deep. It's like five octaves octaves lower than it normally would be. So that's why if you, it sounds different, that's what's going on. So the very first way that you can make a little bit of extra money and probably one of the easiest is to go through your closet and have a yard sale and sell all of your extra clothes. This is a really awesome way to make some extra money. And it's also something that's really fun that you can do with your friends. So I've never done this myself, but I've seen lots of people pair up together and then they'll have like a yard sale or a sale in their house or something where they pile all of their clothes and accessories and stuff together and then they invite everybody over to kind of like shop through their closet. You can also do this online so you could create like a Facebook page or Facebook group or something called like Christina's closet sale or Christina and a friend's closet sale and you can invite everybody to that group to buy your extra clothes that you don't want anymore and then you can easily make some extra money. The next way you can make some extra money is awesome if you're good with a camera and that is photography. There is always people out there that need a photographer no matter if it's for like graduation or prom or weddings or like new baby photos and photographers can make a lot of money because they charge a lot and I feel like people are always kind of looking for a deal so even if you're really new to photography and you're just starting out you could charge like a really really low price and still make some extra money and I bet you're still gonna have people coming to you wanting you to take their photos because people are always looking for a good price. So photography is another really great way to make some extra money. I've heard of wedding photographers making like thousands of dollars, which is so crazy. So you could start out just doing like a little bit of photography on the side and building your skills. And then maybe you could get to a place one day where you could charge a few thousand dollars to shoot a wedding. This next month, money making tip I've mentioned in videos before but I wanted to throw it in here again because I think it's a really good way to make some extra money if you're super crafty and that is opening an Etsy shop or selling some of your crafts online. I wish I was a crafty person or like I was more artistic because there are some amazing things on Etsy and you can make a really good amount of extra money if you're creative and you can make good products and what I really like about Etsy is that there's so many different different things that you can sell and that people purchase. So there's like everything from homemade bags to like picture frames, everything you can think of. So no matter how unique your craft is, I feel like there's always going to be somebody out there who would like it and who would buy it. So opening an Etsy shop is a really great way to make some extra money if you're good at crafting and if you really like crafting. Another really awesome way to make some extra money is by house sitting and pet sitting. So this is really popular in the summer 
summertime when people go on a lot of vacations and they don't want to leave their house and their pets for too long. So this is a really cool way to just like hang out with the animals, stay in somebody's house for a little bit of extra money. And there's also house sitting websites online that I've looked up before where basically you can make a profile, offer your services, and then you can kind of like trade your work. So if you want to travel in the summer, for instance, you can offer house sitting services to somebody in a different state or a different province. And then you get to travel and get a free place to stay. And then the people that you're house sitting for gets their pets and their house taken care of. So that's really cool. And then sometimes you also do make a little bit of money depending on the amount of work that the people who you're house sitting for want you to do. So sometimes people have like a whole farm that they want you to take care of or like three dogs and a couple cats. So obviously this is a little bit more work and people will pay you for that. So if you're interested in house sitting or pet sitting, I will link one of the websites um, that I've looked at below in the description box. If you're young, babysitting is like my number one tip of advice to make some extra money. It's so much fun and it's so easy. I feel like babysitting is everybody's first job. I babysat for so long throughout high school and middle school, mostly because I love hanging out with kids. So it really is like the best job. You just get paid to play games and hang out with cute kids all day. And if you're interested in babysitting, it can be super easy to find some families to babysit for. If you wanna like make up a little flyer and pass it out around your community, or you can even ask your parents or your friend's parents if they know anybody with small kids that maybe they can like share your information with. And that's how you can find some different families to babysit for. If you're looking for a way to make a little bit of extra money and you already have a full-time job, I just wanna say that having a second job is not something to be ashamed about, especially when you're a young person like me, you have student debt, rent prices are crazy. It's really hard to just like keep up with the amount that it costs to live, honestly, as a young person. So if you have a full-time job and you need to get another part-time job on the side, something just super easy, like in retail or serving, don't be ashamed by this. I actually saw an episode or a YouTube video of The Financial Diet here on YouTube, and I love that channel. It's just all about like money-saving tips, money-making tips, like a YouTube channel that's right up my alley because I'm so interested in that stuff. But one of the videos that they had talked about how you shouldn't be ashamed for just trying to make a little bit of extra money and working a job that's not like, you know, like a good job or like a good real job. So any type of job is a real job, no matter if it's like working in retail or working in a coffee shop, you should never feel ashamed to just make a little bit of extra money or wanting to make extra money. So if you already have a full-time job and you wanna just make some more money on the side, um, I would just suggest picking up a part-time job a few nights a week and making the extra money will really make you feel good. I always have more than one job just because I feel like I always like to be a little bit ahead and I like to have multiple sources of income. So it's worked out really well for me and that's why I always talk about having different jobs on my channel. Another way that you can make some extra money is if you're really good on the computer and you like freelance work. So if you're a good video editor, there's tons of work out there. And also if you're a good graphic designer, so if you're good at Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro and Photoshop, there is so much more work out there now for these types of jobs. And there's also a lot of websites that you can go on and advertise your services if you're a really good video editor or you're good at making logos like in graphic design. There's one called Fiverr that's really cool. You can do anything on Fiverr or you can advertise any type of service. Everything from like video editing to voiceovers to writing blog posts for people. There's really anything and people will pay you for your creative work. So if you're good at stuff like this, then it's definitely something to look into if you wanna make some money off of graphic design or video editing. Kind of building off of my very first way that I mentioned you could make some extra money by selling your clothes, you can also open a Depop shop or a Poshmark shop. So I really find that depending 
depending on your style really depends on where you should sell your clothes. So if you're a little bit more girly and preppy, then Poshmark is the way to go. But if you really like uh, vintage and edgy clothes, then Depop is your number one place to sell your clothes. I wish we had Poshmark here in Canada so bad because I know people make a ton of money on Poshmark, especially with different brands like American Eagle and Urban Outfitters and um, like Banana Republic and all of those brands, people just buy them right away. So if you have any good cute brands in your closet, clothes that you're not wearing, open up a Poshmark shop or a Depop shop and let the money start rolling in. If you're looking for an easy job to make some more money, you could consider becoming a food delivery driver. So I know there's companies like Uber Eats and Postmates and Skip the Dishes here in Canada. I actually know somebody who's delivering food through Skip the Dishes right now and they really like it. You basically get to work on your own schedule. You get to drive your own car. So you do need a car if you wanna be like a food delivery driver because you have to drive from place to place, but you get paid by the hour for Skip the Dishes, I believe, and then you get to keep whatever tips you get. So if you don't mind being out on the go and working your own schedule, you could look into being a food delivery driver. And the last thing I wanna to suggest to you guys, if you're trying to make more money and you have a little bit of a social media following or you have a lot of friends on Facebook, anything like that, is to sell your own online e-courses or create an ebook and sell that. So a lot of social media influencers, people who are big on YouTube and Instagram, they'll create courses or ebooks on topics that they're really good at or they know a lot about, and then they'll put them out there for people to buy. Everybody is good at something and everybody has something to share. For me, it's like saving money and finance and budgeting and stuff like that. But for you, it might be photography or it might be cooking or something like that. And so whatever you're really good at, you can make your own course or ebook and then sell it. One of my goals for 2019 was actually to write my own ebook. So I really want to do that. And I asked a couple months ago, I think on Instagram and YouTube, what you guys would rather me write an ebook on. If you would rather it be like saving money and budgeting, or if you would rather it be all about YouTube and growing on YouTube and kind of stuff like that, social media related. And honestly, it was 50 50. Exactly. So half of you want the saving money ebook and then the other half want the YouTube ebook. So I might just have to write both, but I'm okay with that because it's two things that I'm super passionate about. Okay, everyone. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button if you're new so that you can be a part of our YouTube family. I have my Instagram and Twitter listed down below if you want to follow me over there as well and you can keep up with the other areas of my life and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!